Hi, I'm Mark Murray and I'm creator of the ham dog. I'm here today to run through how a ham dog is actually put together. By now you probably would have seen there's a lot of variations of ham dogs across the world and uh, it all started here in Australia with quite a basic version, uh, beef patty, uh, our footy frankfurt down here which is red uh, and uh, the obvious ingredients. So. I'm not going to tell you what you should put in it. It could be anything. It could be lamb patty. It could be a chicken patty. It could be a hash brown. It could be vegan. It could be vegetarian. It could be whatever you want it to be. But today I'm going to show you a couple of tips and a couple of tricks on how to make sure you make yourself a good ham dog. Now the original ham dog, uh, I knocked up these a little bit earlier. They're not here to eat. Like I said, I just purely want to show you how to lay up your ham dogs. Um, the original ham dog was consisted of uh, the beef patty that was sliced in half and then the sausage or frankfurt put there in the middle. Now if you have a look at that you'll notice that it sticks. It's not plastic, I've only just made these. There's a secret to this and this is how we get the ham dog to stay together because there's a fair bit going on there. Once the beef patty is almost cooked on your barbecue or your hot plate, slice it in half, spread it apart about the width of your sausage, throw a slice of cheese on it. When the cheese is just melted enough, scoop it up, flip it upside down onto your ham dog base. Then throw your sausage, frankfurt or whatever's going in the middle straight on. The cheese acts as a glue and that's what holds everything together. That's the original way. There's also another way we do it. And it's a little bit more conventional. The patty's cooked per normal, cheese is put on the top, uh, and the frankfurt or the sausage, we simply cut a section out. And the good thing about that, if it's quite a big sausage, you can uh, decrease the size of the volume of the meat that's in the meal, because there's a fair bit going on there. So. Not only does that just reduce it, reduce the height, so it's it's achievable, you can handle it, um, but it locks it in, so it's all nice and tight. So they're the two ways to lay up a ham dog to make sure that it all stays together while you're chomping away. What I'm going to show you now is the original ham dog, the Australian version, and uh, how it's laid up. Okay, the original ham dog. The first ingredient is obviously a bit of sauce. A bit of mustard. Here we go. A bit of mustard. We add four thin slices of dill pickle. There we go. Uh, some tomato. Got a nice big slice to chuck on the middle there. Uh, we add a little bit of lettuce, some chopped white onion, and a bit of mayonnaise. And there we have it. So that's it. That's how you make the world famous ham dog. Uh, so remember, again, those two techniques. If you're going to split the patty, remember, cheese on top, flip it upside down onto the base of the roll uh, and put your sausage or frankfurt in. That'll all lock it together as you build it up so you get a nice, stable, easy to handle, good looking, great tasting ham dog. If you go the other way where you trim the sausage, if you're using quite large ones, uh, and then you can lay up around the sides, continue with what else is going on there and again lock it down so that's it people that's the world famous ham dog uh, these are a ham dog buns uh, wherever you are in the world if you want to add this to your menu if you want to license a particular area state country uh, mobile food vans uh, even if you want these for home uh, it's all happening so uh, please drop us a message if you want to add the ham dog to your menu and uh, watch those customers come running Thanks.